Right guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing a Cardiff City transfer rumours. So I'm a Cardiff fan and I've uh, watched them all season and for many seasons. So uh, yeah, we've got to the Premier League again, came second, did pretty good. Uh, so uh, yeah, today we're going to be talking about a few transfer rumours and uh, some players we could sell or keep or even buy. So um, yeah, we're going to start off, we're going to go through uh, like most most positions. In goalkeeper, right now we've got uh, Neil Etheridge. So in his games in the Championship, he had 19 clean sheets, so it's pretty good. And uh, we got uh, on a free from uh, Warsaw, so uh, he's gone a big jump from uh, I don't know what league Warsaw are in, but straight to the Championship and now to the Premier League. So he's done very well for us. Obviously uh, playing most of our Championship games, if not all, I'm not sure. But obviously Brian Murphy, Lee Camp went off to uh, Sunderland on loan, but Brian Murphy, I think he played in the FA Cup, but Neil Etheridge. Uh, in the in the championship, however, Neil Etheridge is going to be out in uh, January for the Asia Cup. So in the Premier, he's going to miss a few games. I'm not sure how many uh, how many games, but some uh, players we could sign: Sam Johnston from the uh, from Aston Villa. He's on loan to Aston Villa from Man United. But um, say Villa lose in the playoffs against Fulham, and uh, they don't go to the Prem, then we could actually uh, sign Sam Johnston. Maybe as a backup, or maybe uh, start in. Personally, I want I want to keep Neil Etheridge. You give him a go in the prem because he's a good shot stopper. Reflexes are good, like gets up quickly. Maybe his kicking's kicking's not great, uh, but yeah, pretty good. And uh, a lot of times it's communication where his goals uh, are letting. But obviously, nineteen clean sheets can't ask for much more. So if Villa go down, maybe Sam Johnston's a uh, decent idea. He did very well against us away. Well, when we were away to him, uh, he stopped a few of our shots uh, from going in. Quite annoying. Also, uh, Marshall, David Marshall from uh, Hull, obviously used to play for us. He was great for us, and then uh, he went to Hull and struggled to get in a starting lineup. He was in uh, obviously with I think it's McGregor, who was also ours. Well, he went to us for one season. Um, could come back to us, Marshall, but I don't know if he's a Prem player anymore. I just I don't know. He's getting old now, and. Uh, well, he was good for us in the championship, but I don't know. I don't know if he'd be the the style of player we need now in goals. Also, a very controversial player, Lucas Fabianski. So obviously Swansea went down. He plays with Swansea. Great player. If he was in the championship, which I don't think he'll stay uh, at Swansea, he'll go to somewhere surely. Because if he's in the championship, he'd uh, literally do so well. But um, he could do much better than the championship. So I think a prem team, and maybe that could be us. But I don't know. I don't know what the fans put down in a comment. If you're Cardiff fans, uh, if you're a Cardiff fan, uh, would you like to see Fabianski get Cardiff? Obviously, come straight from Swansea. I don't know. Uh, I'd probably say, I don't know because um, he's a he's a great player. Obviously, good shot stopper, but he's just come from Swansea. Neil Etheridge, gotta give him a go. I'd probably say, uh, I'd probably say no, but maybe another season. If Neil Etheridge does bad, we can sign him in Jan January transfer window. Maybe if he's still open to buy. Uh, moving on to the midfield now. Uh, obviously, our midfield consists of uh, Patterson, Rawls, Gunnison, Gierich and Bryson. With Gunnison, uh, not sure if he's going to stay. He's injured right now. He's not sure if he's going to stay. He's got the World Cup in uh, June and July. Doesn't know if he's going to stay, but personally, I don't think he'll, uh, he'll stay. I don't think he would. And uh, He's played for us ages now, but uh, I think he's, his time's over, maybe. don't know if he'd be a Prem player. Also, Bryson and Gierich, uh, uh, Bryson on loan from uh, Derby and Gierich on loan from uh, Liverpool. I think they could, ob they're obviously going to recall them, but um, we could sign them if we wanted to on loan again or maybe permanent. But Percy, I think, I don't know, I don't think Bryson and Gierich are, I don't know, Gierich may be better, but Bryson runs around and doesn't do a lot. Just a, Well, he does a lot, but he doesn't do a lot when he gets it, if you know what I mean. Like, he runs around and then wins it a couple of times, but loses it a lot. Or well, doesn't even get it for sometimes, but um, Patterson and Rawls definitely great players. Uh, I'd like to see them in the prem. Maybe keep them in the four three three formation we play, and uh, have them on the maybe Rawls in centre or on the left, and Patterson on the right centre mid, like where he usually does, and obviously scores a lot. So Patterson and Rawls, I'd like to see in the prem. They done well for us this season. Rawls a little, uh, I think he had an injury. I'm not sure where, but he missed a few games. And Patterson missed a few at the start because he was injured when we bought him from Rangers. But yeah, definitely keep them. They're, uh, they're good players. But the signings we can make is Joe Allen. 
Joe Allen, obviously another controversial one. He's from Swansea and he's played for Swansea. Comes for uh, he played for Liverpool. Right now he's playing for Stoke, but obviously Stoke got relegated. He's definitely not a Championship player. I can tell you that. He hundred uh, percent he'll be in the Prem next year. He's got to he's got to move. But who too is the question? Uh, obviously, as a Cardiff fan, you uh, you don't know if you want someone who's from Swansea, but in this case, I definitely do. I know Joe Allen's a great player. Obviously, watching him in Wales matches and. Uh, quality player uh runs he does he's sort of like a better bryson a much better bryson runs around a lot and uh he doesn't he doesn't score a lot but he, he does run around do his job and uh wins the ball passes play makes he's a good all-round player in the midfield so he'd be strong in there he's not too tall but uh, yeah he gives it a go good go so i definitely uh have him at cardiff next season for the prem and then james MacArthur, obviously from um crystal palace so he's age 30 though so he's pretty old, he's getting on, but I think with the Prem experience and he's had uh, contact with uh, Warnock before, I think he'd be a great sign-in because uh, obviously that Prem experience and uh, their, like, uh, relation not relationships, I'm going gay, but, like, we've worked with Warnock, so, you know, uh, that, like, uh, connection they have would uh, might come back and, uh, yeah, I could see him being a good sign-in if we sign him. Maybe either one of them or both or someone else. I haven't mentioned, I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, on to the strikers now. Cardiff, obviously, uh, main striker is being Kenneth Sahor. We've had uh, Danny Ward, Jamie Ward. Danny Ward didn't really play a striker, but more left wing. Jamie Ward did. And, uh, yeah, and Omar Bogle, but Bogle just played in, like, uh, the FA Cup, I think it was. or I'm not sure when he played, but it wasn't wasn't a lot. He played against Bristol, actually, and scored, but... He's not great, definitely not Prem standard. Kenneth Sahor though, nine goals, five assists, not too bad. But is he Prem standard? I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna probably keep him, play him a few games. But I reckon we'll sign someone, uh, cause like I just don't, I don't know. Medine also, I forgot about Medine. Medine, um, obviously we bought him. I think it was for five mil or something. He's quite expensive. I'm not sure if it was five mil, but uh, he's from Bolton, cracking player for Bolton. But for us awful like he didn't he uh missed that pen against wolves along with hoylo missed the pen and um he didn't score for us once he also uh missed that sitter against derby just didn't really click with cardiff obviously for bolton he was great and bolton miss him they just uh got uh stayed in the championship so it was pretty lucky for them but i think really we need to sell Medine. getting back to the championship he needs to work a little bit uh well, just he wasn't great for us. I don't know. Maybe he's good in the Prem if we keep him, but I reckon we should sell him. And then the signings we can make. Solomon Rondon, uh, definite uh, linked with Cardiff. Um, could be a decent signing. He's like a Zahor, strong, physical, uh, like, likes his shots. Uh, decent finisher. So, um, not sure when he scored for uh, West Brom, but obviously West Brom went down. So, maybe, uh, maybe he's going to move. I reckon he will move to a Premiership club. Because uh, I think he's had the experience there, but he didn't he didn't do too well this season. But also Jay Rodriguez from uh, West Brom could be an option for Cardiff with West Brom going down. A couple of their players looking to uh, move back to the Prem because they don't want to be in the Championship. Cause definitely not, uh, not Championship players. Also Alex uh, no Alex Andre uh, Andre Gray from Watford is a linked player with Cardiff. Quick player uh, st uh, striker obviously, and also Abel Hernandez from Hull. Hull, uh, obviously, come down from the Championship uh, Prem, but um, he did all right for them. Scored a few goals for them as well, and uh, he's a quick player, so we haven't got that like quick in striker. We've got obviously Mendes Lang and Hoyler on the wings uh, with uh, Jamie, uh, Danny, no, don't even know Jamie Ward, Danny Ward. Always get mixed up, but uh, obviously one of them on the wings um, could have, and. Um, well, either of them can play on the wings, uh, but yeah, Mendes Lang, uh, I think give him a go in the Prem, he loses the ball a lot, but he does give it a good go, like he's had good patches this season, like at the start he was great scoring all his goals, but uh, Hoyler, definite, give him a good go in the Prem, uh, he played awesome for us this season, but uh, maybe Jay Rodriguez could go in one of those spots, maybe, or you could probably play um, Gray in a uh, double partnership, or uh, Abel Hernandez in a like a two striker formation if we ever changed right now obviously playing 4-3-3 three, three. also Mitrovic Mitrovic could be a great sign in he uh, obviously come from Fulham did a uh, did a good job for uh, 
Fulham in the Championship this year. Um, also came from Newcastle. I think he's out on loan to Fulham. He might be on loan. I'm not sure, but yeah, Mitrovic scoring a lot of goals for uh, Fulham. But Fulham are in the final against Villa in the playoffs. So if he does come to Fulham, it's a bit. Uh, no, if he does go to Cardiff and Fulham went up, it'd be a bit controversial. But I think if Fulham go up, he'll uh, probably stay. I don't think he'd come to us. But uh, yeah, those are all my opinions on the transfer market for uh, Cardiff City going to the Prem. If you have any other uh, options or who you think we should sell, buy, keep, any of them, put it down in the comments. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.